Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Pagkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa sa iyong pagkamulat naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan maging mapanuri sundin ng wasto at nararapat kagandahang nasal ang ipakita ipadama ang pusong may malasakit dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Since TV. Hey, Dino, what are you trying to do? Heto, sinusubukan kong tugtugin yung kanta sa offer ng Dino Teens TV. Nakaka-LSS kasi eh. Paano na kasi yun? Um... Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV, ang boses mo ay mahalaga. Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV, ikaw lagi ang bida. Um, nga pala nan, may bibisitahin tayo mamaya para sa pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Okay. Um, our lesson for today is music. Oh, oras na pala. Tawagin mo na si Fur. Now, I'm ready. Let's go! Hello, Hello Fur! Nandino! Excited na din ba kayo, Fur Nandino Teens? Sa araw na ito, makakapanayam natin ang isa sa mga guro sa MAPE Department at special program for the arts moderator ng Pampanga High School. Halina't sabay-sabay tayo makijamming kay Sir Joel. Hello, Hello sir. Hello, Fer, Nan, Dino, and to our Fernandino teens. Hello, sir. Gusto po namin palawakin ang aming kaalaman sa mundo ng musika. Can you tell us something about music? Music is everywhere. We have been enjoying and learning these organized sounds since the day we acquired our sense of hearing. We listen to music for entertainment and relaxation. For some, music is a profession. Wow. 
highlight our leading national artist in music, Maestro Ryan Kayabiab. Earlier, I mentioned the term organized simply because music is about taming wild sound. Listen to this. If you're going to play these instruments out of nowhere, the sound being produced becomes unpleasant. But if you organize the sound that they produce, the sound becomes music, like this one. Music is both an art and a science. It is the science of sound and silence, and it aims to express the soul. It is a thing that separates us from the rest of the animals. Music is a science because it deals with the different sound waves. Technically, it is an application of physics too, when the acoustic of the musical instruments or mechanical device are considered. Through experimentation, an instrument maker would discover better sound quality or acoustic for the instruments. Its precise design, wood quality, and craftsmanship. Kaya naman magkaiba ang tunog ng gitara sa ukulele o maging ang violin sa biola. Let's talk about beats. Do you know that whenever you group the beats into measure, you are relatively dealing with counting as well. Thus, music becomes an application of math. Wow! The musician constantly counts every beat to follow the pace of a piece. There are four counts in a measure, three counts, and two counts. Now, this is an example of counting in four. One, two, three, four. Now, you follow me. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, again. Example of counting within a musical piece. A while back, I said that music is an art. Ito ay isang sining. Naipapahiyag nito ang kaisipan, damdamin, at ideya ng isang manunulat o composer. Habang naririnig natin ang musika, madaling itong nahihikayat ang ating damdamin. Tulad na lamang ng musikang ito. sa isang kalagayan o mood. Sir, gaano po kahalaga ang musika? May papakita akong larawan sa inyo at sabihin niyo kung ano ang nalilikha nitong imahe sa inyong isipan. Oh, mga Fernandino teens, samahan niyo kami, ha? Ano ang inyong naisip dino? Ah, uh, isang magagandang kasalan sa isang magandang simbahan po, sir. Magaling. Ngayon naman, sasamahan natin ng angkop ng musika. Alamin kung ano ang magiging epekto nito. Handa na ba kayo, mga Fernandino teens? Mas maganda ba na? Baka naman nangangarap ka na na ikaw ang kinakasal. <laughs> maganda po, sir. Naging mas madali po sa akin ang makalikha ng mas magandang imahe or images. This time, focus your eyes on the same picture while another music is being played. Then see for yourself if you can still visualize the same scenario. Ang 
bago ang naisip nating imahe dahil nagbago ang musika. Marami pa tayong tatalakayin sa pagpapalik ng Fernandino TV! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya... Kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbing daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ng ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Tint TV Wow Nana, nagsta ka na Hindi ko lang naman Welcome back Fernandino Tints So far, we have concluded that music is an integration of science, math physics, and above all, art. It can stimulate our sense of being physically, mentally, and emotionally. Furthermore, music, regardless of one's nationality, race, and age, can easily touch the heart and soul, making it a universal language. Sir Joel, paano po nagagawang musika ang mga tunog? Bago ko sagutin ang tanong mo, Nan, sagutin niyo muna ang katanungan ko. I will give you 10 seconds to think. Here's the question. Can we consider silence as music? Maaari ba nating tawaging musika ang walang tunog? O ano na ang kasagutan ninyo, Fernandino Teams? Yes, silence is a part of music, but silence itself is not music at all. Now let's go back to your question, Nan. Paano nga ba nangagawang musika ang mga tunog? Ang tunog ay may mga katangian o properties. One of the properties of sound is pitch. Pitch is also part of the elements of music. It is the highness and lowness of sound. The higher the number of vibrations per second, the higher the pitch. The lower the number of vibrations per second, the lower the pitch. Using the keyboard, the direction towards the right is getting higher in pitch. While the direction towards the left indicates the pitch is getting lower. When a sound has a specific number of vibrations per second, we call it tone. That's why before using your ukulele or guitar, you tune it to calibrate the pitch. These tones have intervals or distances from one to another. We have full step interval and half step interval. As you can see, C and D is a whole step interval because there is a key in between. 
while F and E is half step in interval because there is no key in between. Totally, we have 12 different tones in one octave, which have half step distance or interval in between. Upang madalin ninyo maunawaan, ituon lang natin sa pitong tono ang ating pinag-uusapan dahil madalas ang ginagamit lamang ay ang major scale at ang minor scale. Ito sila. Ang pangwalo ay pagbabalik lang doon sa unong tono. Kaya, pito lang. Naiintindihan natin, Fernandino Tins? The second property of sound is dynamics. It came from the Greek word dunamis, which means power. Most of the time, they interchange the pitch, which is highness and lowness, with dynamics, which means loudness and softness. To articulate the songs and instrumental music, we need variation in terms of dynamics. That's why this property has a wide range of loudness. Piano is actually named clavicembalo col piano e forte. Italian word for soft is piano and loud is for forte. Because you can play in loud and in soft manner using the piano. For soft, we have PPP, meaning pianissimo, which means very, very soft. Then pianissimo is PP for very soft. Then P, simply for piano, it means soft. For moderately soft and moderately loud, we have mezzo piano and mezzo forte. The loudness, we have forte F, which means loud. Fortissimo FF means very loud. And fortissimo, which is for as loud as you can. Like this song. property of sound is duration. Duration is the length of sound. By the way, all sounds have these properties. They have pitch, dynamics, and duration. The symbols that we use to notate the duration are the notes and rest. Hence, we have different kinds of notes and rest. We have full note, half note, quarter note, 16th note, and so on and so forth. The combination of these can represent almost kind of duration along with a dot and tie note. The whole note receives four counts, like this sound. Or half note receives two counts, like this sound. Can you count with me? Per, Nan, and Dino? Let's count the whole note. Ready? The whole note receives how many count? Four count. Very good. Excellent. Let's start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. four. Very good. That's whole note. The second note receives two counts. Let's play the half note. Ready? One, two, three, four. Two. One, two. One, two. One more time. One, two. Excellent. Now let's play the quarter note. Give me four quarter notes. Ready? It receives one count, Dino. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, Nan, that's good. But we have to count it as one, two, three, four. 
not as a single quarter like one, 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 one. <laughs> Did you get that? Okay. Because we are trying to fill in the entire bar or measure. Okay? Ready? Four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. Very good. Did you get that, Fernandino teens? This time we're going to count whole note, half note, and quarter, following the rhythm of the keyboard. Are you ready, for Nan, Dino. Are you ready, Fernandino teens? Let's count. Whole note first, and then half note, and then quarter note. One, two, three, four. 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 Very good. Let's sing. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. Five hundred twenty-five thousand moments so dear. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. How do you measure, measure a year? In daylight, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee. Pagpapatuloy natin ang ating musikahan sa pagbabalik ng Fernandino TV! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Alcerano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month na ating temang Victory and Humanity Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, Metong karang aktibidades na ng syudad apin ning launching ning Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport apin ning metong karang proyekto ning kaya katamu syudad ning pamen na muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong nuka rin makalagelangan ding eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamu ning kaya katamu heritage district. Ah, kaya daw din kaya ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon, kaya ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po ay yung pamangalesa. May ahos siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at syuking passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta, palto may king tourism office, at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntalan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balumin nga ni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ning COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko la ding bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumawot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, kaya ni syudad. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Gawan nyo mo ba kanta makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ng kaya kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyakin, na nano ko pa, tara na! Fernandino Teens TV Uy, Dino! Ikaw naman ang nangangarap ngayon, ha? Hindi ko practice na ako sa utak ko itong mga itong palira, eh. Sir Joel, ngayong alam na po namin ang mga katangian ng tunog, 
Ano-ano naman po ang mga elemento ng musika? Ang mga elemento ng musika ay ang mga sangkap na unti-unting na-invento ng mga musikero. Hindi naman kaagad-agad na ganito na ang musika natin. Dati ay melodiya lang ang mayroon bago nagkaroon ng iba pang elemento tulad ng ritmo. One of the most important elements of music is melody. Melody is a series of tone which are related to come up with a meaningful musical idea. It is the rise and fall of individual tone to create an element. We are referring to specific tones. Kagaya ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, bago tumugtog, tinotono muna natin ang mga instrumento. Dahil gusto natin na nasa tamang tono ang ating tinutugtog. Melody is also known as the tune and the soul of music. It gives us an identity to a musical piece or song. So kung tutugtugin natin ang twinkle-twinkle na gamit yung chords, hindi natin ito malalaman na twinkle-twinkle ang tinutugtog. Dahil mga chords lang ang nadidinig natin tulad nito. Diba kung anong awit yun? Hindi hmm, po, sir. Pero kung sasamahan natin ng melodiya, Tama! Then we have the movement of each tone which is called contour or melodic contour. The contour can be going up or ascending or Descending. It's actually an intro of a song. Are you familiar with that song? I think it's Despacito. Exactly, that's correct. Fur, that's Despacito. And there are also repeated tones meaning playing of the same tone again and again, like this one. You know the title of that song? Um, I think, sir, it's Faded. Correct. Do you know? That is Faded. Now, there are two techniques in playing the melody. The first one is legato. Everyone say legato? Legato. Meaning connected. When the melody are connected like this, it is called legato. And the second technique is staccato. Staccato means detach. So there you have it guys, the two techniques in playing the melody. Another important element of music is rhythm. Rhythm is the pulsation of beats. That's why it was considered as the heart of music. Performance would count continuously throughout the entire piece because the beats are divided into groups. The beat is the unit of time that we use for this because tempo or speed in music is relative. It depends on the composer if he or she wants the beat to be in slow or fast tempo. To standardize the tempo, make use of the metronome or a device that gives the exact beat in a minute. If it's 86 beats per minute, this is how fast it is. By the way, I have a trivia question. What is the longest word with no vowel? It's rhythm. Perfect. Bravo. 
Going back, when these beads are divided, each group is called measure or bar. So we divide it into 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 12. The time signature is the symbol that gives the measurement or rhythm to be followed. That is why we do not say 2 fourth, 3 fourth, or 4 fourth. Hence, we say 2 4, 3 4, 4 4, 5 4, 6 8, or 9 8. The 2 4 time signature is called duple meter. One example of a, of a duple meter is our national anthem. What's the title of our national anthem? Bayang Magiliw? No, that's Lupang Hinira. Yes. Hindi pa ako tapos na ni. Ang sabi ko, Bayang Magiliw ang unang linya. Ah. This is an example of a 3 4. And the song that we sang a while ago is in 4 4. Are you familiar with this theme song? It's Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Correct. And the theme song of Mission Impossible is in irregular meter 5-4 time signature. Now, there are different types of speed in music. We call tempo. We have largo. Very, very slow. And then grave, adagio, meaning slow, andante, moderately slow, moderato, or walking pace, allegretto, a little bit fast, allegro, fast, vivace means lively, presto, very fast, and prestissimo, very, very fast. We also have accent and syncopation as a style in playing under rhythm. Now let's talk about timbre or tone color. Timbre or tone color is the qualifying difference of the sound which is sometimes mispronounced as timbre, not as timbre. My voice is totally different from the voice of Fur, Nan, and Dino. Same Thing is true with the musical instruments. Kahit parehong gitara pa yan o violin, iba pa rin ang kanilang voice print or tone color. Kaya may mumura yung instrumento at mahal. Pakinggan ninyo ito para malaman ninyo ang halaga ng timbre. With the piano, I'm sure you won't get the same feeling. Same thing with this song. With the piano, is described by words like bright, dark, brilliant, mellow, and rich. Madami pa tayong pag-uusapan patungkol sa musika sa pagbabalik na Fernandino TV! Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST, isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang mahalawakang pagtulong, pagtabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng 
pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumiteya ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto, gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, Kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan.
Sir Joel, 1990 na po namin kung ano ang melody, rhythm, and timbre. Ano naman po ang harmony? Ang harmony ay ang pagkakasundo ng mga tunog. It is the blending of two or more tones. Each tone complements and supports one to another to create a fuller sound. When the notes are vertically arranged in a music sheet, that's harmony. Kung dalawa lang bang ba tono, masasabing chords na ba yun? Harmony po siguro, pero hindi ako sigurado kung ito ay chord. Bravo, Dino! When two tones are played at once, they create harmony. But we cannot consider two tones as a chord. Chords are composed of three or more tones played at once. Like this one. They support the melody. I can think of all the times you told me not to touch the light. I never thought that you would be the one. I couldn't really justify how you even thought it could be right. Cause everything we cherish is gone. You will notice that there are a lot of different kinds of chords. The most basic is called triad. They have the first, the third, and the fifth. Sometimes we are using one chord at a time, or more than one chord, like this polychord. This is B flat and C. Yes, sir. Playing each tone individually in a chord is called broken chord, like this. But still, it's a chord. Harmony is the body of music because it supports the melody. Another significant element of music is texture. Texture is the layer of sound. There are different types of texture. The first one is monophonic, the second is homophonic, and the third one is polyphonic. When the melody is played without any harmonic support, it is monophonic. But when certain chords are played together with the melody, it is called homophonic. So if you will sing with a chordal accompaniment, that is homophonic. Like this one. is polyphonic. From the word poly means many and phonic means sound. Therefore, it means that polyphonic has two or more melodies playing at the same time. The point where two melodies are played is called counterpoint. Both melodies have rhythmic independent and melodic contour but support each other to create a beautiful music.
course ng mga awitin ay mayroong stanza at chorus. Yung iba meron pang bridge at pre-chorus. Magandang tanong yan, Nan. Ang tawag dyan ay musical form o structure. Pakinggan natin itong awit na ito. sa pangalawa ang agabi hindi na mamalayan oras ay lumipad ang sandaling lumalaya kung saan man tayo mapatlan lalong lalo na iba ang kanyang melodiya sa koro kaya't pasensya ka na sa pangat ang isip ko ito huwag sa iyo. So, iba-iba ang struktura ng musika. There are two basic types of form, the binary and ternary. The song or instrumental piece is binary when the first musical idea is not the end of the piece, like musical idea A, then musical idea B. But when the song is ended with the first musical idea, it becomes a ternary. Kung matatapos ang kanta sa koro, nangangahulugan na ito ay binary. Kung matatapos doon sa inumpisahang melodiya, ito ay ternary. Awesome! Tandaan nyo lang, binary is AB form and ternary is ABA. Sa tingin ko ay hanggang dito na muna ang ating kwentuhan patungkol sa musika. Baka hinahanap na kayo sa inyo. May natutunan ba kayo sa ating pagkukwentuhan? Oras na po ba? Pero grabe, ang dami ko pong natutunan sa inyo, sir. Kahit hindi ako magaling sa musika, nakakaingganyo talaga ang jamming natin ngayong araw. I definitely agree. Iba talaga ang nagagawa ng musika sa buhay ng tao. Kaya naman, maraming salamat, sir! Basta pakatandaan ninyo, regardless of your nationality, race, or religion, Music can always reach your heart and soul because music is a universal language. Muli ito ang Fernandino TV na kung saan ang pamalang Fernandino ay ang hansa. Maging mapanood 